Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review. In this video I'm going to review Hyperviolent by Joseco. This is the brand new album of Mexican agrotech duo Joseco, who for me have been one of my main introductions to the genre and basically have done some of my favorite albums that I've ever heard in terms of agrotech. Now some of their latest releases might not consist on some of the best materials the group has written and you know it's not an easy task to just bring back some of the glorious days of some of their albums in like the early 2000s. However what I find pretty interesting especially with their last album Artificial Extinction is that they would end up taking some risks and actually going into some kind of different genres and styles. For example you have tracks over here that go more into like a drum and bass tempo or also you had other tracks that would might go into some witch house directions and I like those additions so that they would keep their sound somewhat more refreshing even if they might not work all the time I still was kind of anticipating this new album and wanting to see whether this album is gonna actually go into some new directions which is actually something that happens this album ends up going into some industrial metal directions something that I haven't seen previously from the sound of Hoshiko so this is something that I found somewhat interesting however it takes a while since we get to this point because this is towards the end of the album now let's just get out of the way what I would consider to be the worst thing about this album its biggest disadvantage and that is gonna be its massive length this over here is the most bloated Hoseko album it contains the most material and for me also the most filler material here's the thing agrotech usually comes in a cd format it doesn't really play that much with vinyl but the thing is that agrotech is used to have very lengthy albums with some of the material just feeling quite filler and a bit unnecessary one of the things that also happens quite a lot with some agrotech releases and that i don't really like that much is that you might have an entire bonus EP or an entire bonus album that would just contain remixes or just an interesting bonus material that no one really asked for. And there have been many occasions in which tracks like this end up taking so much space. And for me, Joseco was actually one of those bands where I didn't find this to be that much of an issue. There were occasions in which I would feel that some albums might be a bit lengthier than what I would prefer, but I feel that this is the most striking example. Hyperviolent ends up being an album that contains way too much, to the point where I can't really see how anyone could sit into this entire thing and believe that this is just consistently great from start to finish. Even if it changes styles and directions at times, it ends up becoming really boring and just feeling way too much. It's not even that easy to sit throughout this entire thing without pausing or taking a break. This album over here is more than 80 minutes, so it also contains like a bonus EP, which I believe is a bit of a mess, and I'm gonna say later why. Now the main album by itself ends up having lots of tracks, and another issue that I find comes with the tracks as well in terms of their pacing and their structure, as I feel that lots of them just drag for much longer than what they would need. Now the thing is that Hoshiko tracks are usually lengthy, but I always find that they were somewhat consistent in how they would structure themselves. Obviously there were a few occasions, especially with some of their more recent albums, where it feels like it takes a while till we get to the main point. And I feel that this is something that also is the case with this brand new album over here. For example, the main single out of this album, Broken Empires, was quite disappointing the very first time I've heard that I was under the impression that it was lacking something. And listening to it more and more, I discovered the issue that I had with this song. I like the chorus out of this a lot. I believe that it's the part that shines in the the way it uses the scenes, in the way it's less monotone and it's more melodic. This is something that happens with many Hoshiko tracks, it's when it comes to the chorus, this is where the tracks are at their best. However, in the case of Broken Empires, it takes a while since we get to the point, like it takes almost more than half of the song in order to get to the very first chorus, which before that point I believe that the first half ends up dragging a bit too much. This is something that was also somewhat of the case but less of an issue with a track that ends up being one of my favorites, Backstabbers. I end up really enjoying this direction of Hoshiko where they go into some drum and bass tempos. I really love tracks like I Abomination and Damaged was my favorite track out of the previous album. So this one over here, Backstabbers, is like more of the same and I feel that it works pretty nice. I actually like the inclusions of those female vocals, it is quite energetic and it's another track that contains an amazing chorus with 
the additional scenes sounding really haunting and really dark and I really like that. However, it's another case where in terms of the structure, it takes a while since we get it to that point. However, I believe that this one ends up feeling kind of better when it comes to its structure as the first half doesn't really feel like it's dragging that much. There are many appealing things about this track, however I wouldn't say that I prefer it over I Abomination or Damaged. Another thing in which I ended up having a bit of an issue with this album, it's with a very large amount of interludes in this particular one. Like almost less than half of the songs over here are just instrumental up and interludes and we're talking about 18 tracks over here. Here's the thing though, Hoshik over the years are known for having many tracks like this into their albums. This is not a new thing. And they actually do a pretty good job on some of the tracks like this. But it's never like the main focus, the tracks that you would remember the most out of the albums. With the exception of probably Sagnos de Aberration where I believe that it's just an exceptional case where even the interludes end up sounding really awesome. However, in Hyperviolent, I don't believe that they're that much well done. Now, the thing is that they would include some spoken word parts, some samples, some beats in a few occasions, and change up to the melodies, but that's basically something that Hoseko have done for lots of years. This is not like a new formula, this is not something new for the duo, and I don't really believe that these interludes are some of their best. It's also another occasion where we have some really lengthy ones, some that just overstay their welcome. For example, tracks like Black Reflection, it's just a really uninteresting dark ambient song that just has nothing really that exceptional or special to it. Or there's also the final track Pekata Mundi which, even though it has a few change-ups, it's another track that just feels like it's dragging after a certain point. And I also don't know why it has that much of a lengthy silent space at the end. I believe it's kinda unnecessary. And I also didn't really find that much of an interest in tracks like when the trumpets of hate blow, I believe that it has some interesting ideas with the scenes, but there's not something that much exceptional about it. Or with tracks like the fourth one or the seventh one, they just feel like kinda of filler after a certain point. Like I believe they're lengthier than what they need to and more than what the album needs. Some of those could have been cut off and make for a more fulfilling experience in my opinion. Now when it comes to some of the other songs that would go into those more industrial and agrotech directions, I believe that we get some pretty interesting moments, some really cool tracks that still show the capabilities of Hoseko, they can make some pretty cool ideas, but there's not really something that really stands out. I mean my highlight out of the main album has to be the track Backstabbers and it's one that goes into a new and more refreshing direction of Hoseko which I end up liking a lot. I end up liking tracks like Acts of Aggression and What Are Nightmares Made Of and I also kinda like the track Lost World. I believe that it does a few interesting things when it comes to the vocals and the way it cuts them up towards the chorus. It has some pretty interesting elements to it and I like the beat. It's a quite energetic song. Then towards the end of the album we get into the industrial metal stuff where we have tracks like End WO, which is a ministry cover. And I believe that it's an interesting direction. It's nice to see Joseco going to a more industrial metal sound, but I don't really believe it's that much of a great song or that it's mixed this nicely. It is a nice attempt, but I mainly have an issue when it comes to its pacing as towards the end it feels like it's dragging way too long, not really providing that much to the experience. There is also the track Crown of Knives, which I ended up liking a lot some of the dark scenes that were attached in this metal instrumental, which also sounded quite nice, and I believe that it had some nice ideas to it. However, why is this track like 7 minutes long? Like I don't really get it, I don't believe that it justifies itself for being that much of a long song. There is not really that much happening to this song in order to justify the 7 minute mark. And it doesn't really even feel appropriate for a genre like this in the directions it goes it in sound. I believe that this is a song that could easily end towards the 4 minute mark. So yeah, I don't really get it why this one in particular drags this long. If it was a bit of a shorter track, I believe that it would work much better as a song. And then we get into the bonus material and the deep cuts in which we have tracks like Weapons of Resistance, which I like the industrial metal directions out of this one, I believe that this is possibly the best one out of the bunch. The main thing that I ended up not liking about this one were the vocals, which I believe they don't really work that well with this one. They have a few weird inflections, especially towards the chorus, which I didn't 
ended up liking a lot. The version mariachi out of their classic song Audio Bajo El Alma. It's an interesting one. I wasn't really expecting it, but I don't really see that much of a purpose behind it. I believe it's okay. I believe that it works weirdly enough but I can't really say that I care for it in order to be included over here and then we have the track Black Mirror in which I'm like why is this track not included in the main album why is this just put into this bonus EP with the deep cuts I don't really get it because Black Mirror is by far the best moment over here this is the best thing this entire album has to offer especially the chorus contains those scenes that are so haunting and dark this is the sound that I like the most when it comes to Hoshiko when it manages to be this dark and somewhat captivating and emotional and I believe that this track does an amazing job I really like some of the parts that this track contains I believe it's excellent then there's the Disputers remix of the track Dog It Dog which for me it's the most unnecessary track out of this album. It has a main idea to it, but it doesn't extend after this point. It just replays the same thing over and over again. It's unbelievably boring, really one-dimensional, and I just don't care about this track. I believe that this remix just drags way too long and yeah it feels quite unnecessary finally the track the fall is not that much of a bad finisher it goes into those sort of more witch house directions it has a trap beat to it and i believe that it's fine it doesn't sound like awesome but it's a fine song so hyper violent overall i believe it's somewhat disappointing it didn't really need to be that much of a lengthy album. Like, Hoshiko still have ideas. They can still make some good songs and be imaginative and go into many different directions. However, I don't really see the necessity of making such a bloated album with so much stuff to it. This album contains some of the issues that I end up having with some of the latest releases of Hoshiko, but in this one they're displayed in full effect more than ever, which makes this easily one of my least favorite Hoshiko albums. There were certainly some great tracks over here, but this is definitely gonna be one of those Hoshiko albums that I'm gonna remember the least, especially as a whole thing. I'm gonna give Hyperviolent a 6 minus out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it, dislike it, why? And what do you want to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.